What do you think of that? If my daughter's seen this right now, she'd be impressed. <laughs> Found that in the car. So uh, we're going to do a Periscope. Uh, you just made 20,000 people's phone buzz. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny, right? <laughs> yeah, so we're uh, we're sitting in the car. We got a little coffee. I took a break. I had a busy, super busy day today. Uh, yesterday, too. Uh, getting ready to uh, head. I'll take my glasses off. Um, what's going on, Dom? Uh, what's going on, Dom? <laughs> <laughs> uh um watching from Arizona cool uh yeah so um <laughs> got any of these in the store Dom uh <laughs> I bet you they're selling like hotcakes uh <laughs> hey from Miami what's up uh cool yeah tap it up guys I'm away to the boys baseball game cool enjoy that baseball game man I miss those days uh watching you watching you from Egypt wow about to listen and cut some grass. Cool. Hopefully we get the grass done. Uh, <laughs> oh, Dom, you're watching your little girl play soccer? Sweet. Tell her uh, when she comes in to uh, be tough out there. Uh, <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah, cool. We got a bunch of you on. Um, I, uh, I just want to drop in real quick. I only have uh, a little bit here. I'm getting actually uh, ready to uh, I got a workshop I'm doing tonight, so I got to get ready for that. Um, also going to spend a little bit of time with my little girl um, when I get home. So we're getting ready to go to South Carolina tomorrow night. So I got to get packed up and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we're busy. But um, I wanted to um, let you guys know. I'm getting a lot of international audience. I know. Nice shirt. Thank you. Uh, are you going to have an earlier workshop? Probably not in the next um, few weeks. Um, possibly when we get back, we will. But I am going to have a replay, not this one, but maybe in th after the third one, because we're going to stop doing them for about a month, month and a half. Uh, first live Periscope. Awesome. Um, oh, the shirt's lame. You were kidding. That's cool. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. It's it's really nice of you. Uh, that's that's really nice. Uh, okay, so in California, TAS. No, we're talking possibly West Coast, though. I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, so anyway, here's the deal. I interviewed a lady um, by the name of Raquel, who's a listener of the show, and she emailed me, and I had her on the show, and her episode aired today. Um, so... What am I planning to say? Someone just said, what are you planning to say, this, this Periscope? What I'm planning to say is this. All right. Here's a lady that started with a hundred bucks and turned that into over the course of about a year and a half, two years into about $74,000. Okay. And she basically started with a hundred bucks. Okay. And she just kept reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting into product. Um, yeah, went to Goodwill, went to uh, different, um, you know, uh, different shops that they were having clearance, all of that stuff, right? She was hustling. The other thing that she did was she went and she found some wholesale items that came in a big pack, and then she broke the pack apart and made up all of these other, all of these other items that could be broken apart inside of this one main item, if that makes sense. So. Retail R, brother. You're right, Dom. That's exactly right. So she did that, and she's been pretty successful at it. Now she's taking a lot of that, a lot of that money, and then um, she's reinvesting it into uh, into other products. Okay, into private labeling. Um, I can't I can't tell if this one person is being um, funny or if they're just being. You know, like, I don't want to say what they are. Yeah, okay, I see what you do. Yeah, now we don't see you. There you go. That's the power of this too. Guys, if you guys see someone on here that's being kind of really silly and kind of stupid, feel free to block them. Um, so, someone someone asked me the other day, Scott, do you ever get mad? Um, I'm starting to get mad right now. Uh, that That's how that happens because people are just, well, they're just, I don't want to say what I really think that I, that they are, but they're just, uh, yeah, someone just said uh, douchey, so we'll say that. Uh, <laughs> he's a jerk. Yeah, right. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, so what I really wanted to share here is I get a lot of people that say, oh my gosh, you know, uh, you know, I'm just not really sure that I want to get started yet, or I'm going to learn a ton before, uh, you know, be, you know, before I actually jump in. So my question to you guys is, you know, do you feel like you are consuming more than you're doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you just consuming or are you actually implementing and then doing? 
I get a lot of people, a lot of people that they listen to the podcast, they listen to other podcasts, they listen to these periscopes, they watch Snapchats, they do all that stuff, but they don't, they don't implement, okay? Doing both. I want to hear doing both for sure. Because if you're consuming, it's great. You're getting this filled up with some good information, but now we have to go ahead and implement. Someone just said overload, and that can be the case. If you feel like that's the case, turn everything off, it'll be there, and then just start implementing one thing at a time. Um, so let's see here, I'm just trying to see what everyone else is saying here. Um, yes, but that's uh, that's shifting, okay, cool. Um, just ordered your second product, so you're doing, that's cool. Um, so that's what you want to do though. You know, and, and again, that's why I love having people on like, like Raquel, because it shows you, um, you know, it, it, it really shows you that if you get out there and just do something, whether it's a, a slam dunk or whether it's, you know, not a good shot, it's okay. You just need to keep moving forward. Um, someone said in the Facebook group, uh, group, <laughs> group today, um, something about, Something about um, when is the time to shift or when is the time to say this isn't working. Um, I think we all kind of know when that is. Um, you just kind of can sense it, right? If you're doing something over and over and over again and you feel like you've done everything to a T and it's just not working, that might be the time to shift or maybe put that on pause and then go ahead and, uh, and, and, you know, continue to go down the, you know, the other path or another path or maybe shift it. Right. And I, I kind of shared the story of, um, you know, when, when my wife and I started our photography business, we're talking years ago, like we started that, um, I was still working construction. So we started that on the side that actually got us moving to where we could see if it was going to get traction. It started getting traction. Then we pivoted and then we went full into it, right? We did that for probably seven, eight years solid before we did anything else. Then I started to dabble in online stuff where I started teaching. I started uh, selling uh, CDs on eBay um, with templates for Photoshop and all that stuff. So see, I started to pivot a little bit outside of that, but I was still in it, but I pivoted a little bit and I seen another direction. So I went in that direction. So I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't mean you have to fully remove yourself from that one thing, but it's going to open another door, another opportunity. And you may start going down that opportunity and go, oh, that's not the right avenue either. We're going to position back over here. We're going to go down that avenue. So what it means is as long as you're doing something without like going crazy, like like saying like, I'm just going to go bet $100,000 on this one horse. No, we're not we're not saying that at all. Please come to Long Island. We'll try to get there. I'm not quite sure that that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, we are talking. Actually, I just had a meeting um, last night with um, with a couple people about where we're going to have the next uh, TAS Live. So that's in the works. Um, be passionate about creating value. Winning is learned and it's addictive. Yes, it is. Um, in August. Uh, no, we're talking October. Um Conference in Australia. I would love to get to Australia. That's on my bucket list. Um, my first order is 5,000 by sea, so should I worry about customs? Um, if you're going by sea, you're going to probably want a freight forwarder anyway, and they're going to be able to educate you and guide you through that process. But again, everyone's experience is different, and it depends on the product. It depends on the code that gets pushed through, so it's really hard to say. The One Thing, best book ever. Yeah, that's a great book. The One Thing, The Slight Edge is another good book. The Compound Effect, um, August in Long Island. Really, you're, you're pushing for that Long Island thing, huh? Um, so uh, in August, I will be just getting settled into my new home in South Carolina. So um, that's what uh, I'll be doing. Uh, please come to Australia. I will be there. I would love to come to Australia. And again, like I said, I'm going to try to make that happen eventually. I'm just not sure when. Um, but yeah, uh, next TAS Live, I'm coming from New Zealand for sure. Really cool. Jeez, Mike, I know who you are. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, we are actually, uh, again, I'll probably be announcing the official date and location probably in, I'm thinking like first week in July. We, we're almost set. Um, Greenville, South Carolina, um, I'm, I'm going to be about two and a half hours from there. Hawaii, Dom, I want to get to Hawaii. You know that. There's going to be a TAS Live event in Hawaii for sure. Um so, um, yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll be announcing that if you guys want to see the highlight reel from the last one too, that we had in, um, Denver, definitely go check that out. The amazing seller.com forward slash live. Um, pretty awesome time. And I'm looking forward to doing the next one. Um, Chris Schaefer is on Chris. You got to be getting ready here. We got a workshop to do here shortly. So make sure that everything's lined up. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dom says I am in the video. You are brother. You are. 
Um, yeah, Chris, you're on it. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, seems like a big demand for Australia. Yeah, we definitely got, Hey, Chris, make a note of that Australia. We need that on, on the list of, um, possibilities. Um, can I do a question and answer with Papa? I think you mean Papa V, right? Um, how about New York, Scott? Um, Bill is on. Hey, Bill, what's up, brother? How's it going, man? Um, just tell me when. Yeah, right. In Australia, right? Tom and Charlotte. Hey, Tom, what's up? Um, yeah, so I had two college finals today and have to make a payment for shipping. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but yeah, you're going to have to uh, figure out what that's going to be once you talk to your freight forwarder. Uh, would you go for a product that is 12 bucks range if product cost is $3 with shipping to FBA? Um, mm, it's really a hard call. I wouldn't do it unless I knew that I could sell another product on the back end of that somewhere, somehow down the line. Um, there's going to be low margins there. It depends on the demand and how much volume you're running. Um, there's got to be a plan and a strategy in place for a price that low. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're getting it for three bucks, selling it for 12, it can make you some money, probably about five bucks, six bucks. Um, your first shipment arrived at the LA port today. Awesome. Congratulations. How much are you paying for boxes with order? Uh, I'm not sure what that means. The box with the order. Jojo says, what's up? Hey, Jojo, what is up? Uh, 120 a day, bill in the house. <laughs> You ain't kidding. Uh, we're just working on Bill to get uh, get more than those uh, on just that one product line. Uh, do you have any metrics to estimate shipping costs per unit to Amazon? Really depends. Um, I ship. Uh, I just shipped a box the other day. It was about forty pounds. Cost pr under ten bucks, um, and it was about one hundred and twenty five units in it. So it depends on how many you can fit in the box before you can really determine how much uh, it's going to cost. Do you have an Amazon vendor account? Yes, I do. Uh, when China packs products individually, are they charging box fees? Um, usually, no, no. It's That's part of their, their overall cost. Hey, Andy, what's up? Um, yeah, guys, do me a favor. Um, tap it up. Just got my first shipment today, 1,000 units. Awesome job, John. Down to 90 last few days. Um, <laughs> Bill, he's being funny again. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so I uh, want to let you guys know too, if you guys are not busy and you guys wanted to hang out tonight, we are doing a... Um a live workshop at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, we're going to be doing that and that one, and we're going to be doing two other ones. The last one will be June sixteenth, and then we're going to stop um, doing them for a little while. I'm going to pause them for about four to six weeks. Um, I think Bill had a few pops. I think you're right. Um, so just to let you guys know, if you wanted to attend one, um, you're probably going to want to attend the next one or two. Did you source your last low price product from US? Yes, I did, and. Um, it's going pretty well, actually. Um, I'll give you guys more details on that once it is uh, rolling a little bit more. It's still kind of premature. So I'll give you guys more updates on that. And guys, do me a quick favor. Share this. That should be automatic now, right, guys? Share this if you guys think that anyone else would get value from the scopes that I do. Um, swipe the screen. Share it. Swipe up, down, however it works on your phone. Um, you can click on the little buddy icon down below and follow. And if you're watching this on a replay, you can do the same thing. And um, guys and gals, go check out the interview I did today with Raquel. I mean, it was killer. Um, she is just doing awesome. She's an inspiration. She's got four kids. Um, Stay-at-home mom. Um, she is totally crushing it. And you know what? When I hear stories like hers and people are talking about, well, I do this and I do that and I just don't have the time, try balancing four kids, young kids, and starting a business. Like that's crazy. Um, I'm a serial consumer working on, on the doing part. Yeah, get to that, Andy. We got to get you to the doing part. You should make one small thing that you do every single day. Yeah, no excuses. There are no excuses. Everyone should be able to do it. Started listening and want my 16 uh, to listen and start. Oh, it's this 16 year old to listen to start this summer. Cool. Yeah, actually, um, a couple that came to our live event um, the Armstrongs, they actually had their kids do some unpacking um, when they were doing the retail ARB to kind of get them into the uh, into the flow and kind of get them educated. So that was that was kind of cool as well. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty good stuff to include your kids. Um, where do I listen, um, Scott? Um, what do you mean? Uh, where do you listen? A podcast? TheAmazingSeller.com. You can find me there. iTunes. Um, you can find me there. You can find me on Periscope where you are right now. Um, but yeah, the the weekly stuff is really on the podcast. Um, 
So you can head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find uh, find me there. Um, and again, guys, if um, if you want to attend the workshop tonight, I'll be there live answering some Q&A there. Uh, usually I stay on for <laughs> close to three hours. So if you guys want to head over there, definitely uh, get on that. It should be pretty uh pretty awesome time. I'm going to give away a special prize to all or to one attendee, one special lucky attendee. Um, you don't have to buy anything or anything like that. I'm going to give one little prize away and uh, it's been it's been going pretty good with that prize that I've been giving away. So if you guys uh, want in on that, definitely head over, check it out. Um, where do you learn all this private label info? A lot of it's by doing um, but you know, I've learned from people that now I've associated myself with and I kind of pick their brains and, and also by doing right. The basic process is pretty simple. Um, yeah, you learn it from Bill. Uh, you know, it's really a basic process. And then once you go through it, you're going to learn through those, those experiences. You know, I talked about this the other day on a, on a snap that I did a Snapchat and, uh, you know, Everything that I've learned to get me to where I am today is from doing things and not succeeding at all of them, just doing things, right? When I first started selling CDs on eBay for my digital products for my photography business, I learned how to sell on eBay, right? And then I learned about kind of like how it worked on selling online or a physical product and what it took and all of that stuff. So you learn so much by doing. So my best advice for anyone is to just start you know, start doing something. If it's product research, do that. If it's uh, just taking some retail arbitrage stuff and launching it and getting it out there, um, whether it's doing a wholesale item, any of that stuff, just do something to where you can start the process and start learning and then you can adapt that to most any business that you go into, um, whether it's a, a new local business that you want to help. Uh, learn by doing things, start doing something. Exactly. Thumbs up. We're right on, Lisa. Um, all right. So, um, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. I've got my coffee here, which is starting to get cold. I just got it too, by the way. And all you Dunkin' Donuts haters, I'm sorry, but it tastes really good. So, uh, yeah. And um, I don't even know what this turtle's name is here. Does anybody know what this turtle's name is? Um, anyway, turtle says, um, <laughs> tap on the screen. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take off here. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again. Um, tap it up, as Papa V would say, quad or triple tap. Um, get those hearts going. We're almost up to a million hearts. It'd be kind of cool. I wonder if something special happens when you get a million hearts. I don't know. Um, yeah. Real Johnny Mac, what's up? Thanks, uh, no problem. Uh, take action, that is true. Um, hashtag TAS Warriors, because that's what you are. Um, if you guys are, are following along here. And uh, yeah, um, <laughs> gold eagle shirt, hashtag. Yes, okay, uh, cool. So, all right, guys, that's it. That is going to wrap it up. Make sure you listen to today's episode two. That's episode 210 with Raquel, who is crushing it, who's an inspiration with four kids, a husband, you know, a busy life, but was able to take 100 bucks and turn it into $73,000, $74,000 in about a year and a half. And now she's learned the process. Now she's doing private labeling. Now she's going to take that baby and really launch it. All right, so get out there, do something. Don't just consume, uh, you know, listen and then do right. Listen, consume, and then implement, you know, it's all about implementation. All right. So Dom, if you're still there, tell your girl, I said, good luck with that soccer game and be tough out there. And, uh, we'll see everyone later, Bill. I'll see you around everyone else that tuned in. Uh, we'll see you guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys real soon. All right, so take care. If you guys are free, though, come on over and hang out on the workshop tonight, theamazingseller.com forward slash workshop. Like I said, it's going to be one of the last ones we're going to do here, um, and then we're going to be taking a little bit of a break. All right, so let's hang out tonight, all right? All right, guys, take care, all right? Peace, love you, take care, take action, get something done.